every month I can keep doing a favorites video so we're off to our first start new year and if you guys want to see what I've been loving this month I've been loving quite a few things a lot of them are beauty related um, so hopefully this video isn't too long but if you guys want to see what I have been loving just keep on watching so I'm gonna start off with all the beauty products that I've been loving and this you guys probably have seen in my skincare video if you haven't seen it I'll link it up right here and this is the Bliss Triple Oxygen Radiant Protection Energizing Serum. Now, I've been using this like crazy. The only downside I'm going to start with is that it's quite a little bit. I think it comes with 27 milliliters, which is 0.9 fluid ounces. So it's kind of a little bit for me because I'm basically done this. I've been using it every single day or at least every single morning because it is an energizing serum. So it does give you some energy. But I've been using this every single day since I got it for Christmas, so December 25th, so almost like a month now. Um, I do love this a lot though because it's not too thick and sometimes thick creams or thick moisturizers kind of clog my pores a bit, so that's the only reason I don't like to use thick creams. But this one is a serum, so it's more thin than actual cream, which I really, really like, yet it's very, very moisturizing. The next product is a product that I actually got for Christmas for my manager at work which is crazy, but um, this is the L'Occitane, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's French. You guys probably seen this brand quite a lot on YouTube. And this is actually a hand cream for dry skin. It has 20% shea butter in it, and it's really moisturizing. I really love the smell of it. It's really smooth. It keeps my hands moisturized all day long. Like I'll use this in the morning and it'll last till I'm leaving work. Um, so this is really, really nice. I would check them out if you guys haven't. And I'm definitely going to be checking them out again to get some more hand creams once this one runs out. The next item is from Fenty Beauty. I love Fenty Beauty. And this is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. And it's in the shade Universal, I guess. That's the shade of it. It says it right in the back. But this is the blotting powder that Rihanna came out with. And it's just this translucent powder, which is not exactly a setting powder. It's more just to like touch up your face throughout the day if you're feeling a little bit oily in spots and it has this beautiful sized mirror which is why i really like it because i can carry this on the go with me if i need a mirror but i've been using this every single day just to touch up my under eyes because my under eyes kind of do get really oily even in the winter after i apply all my makeup so i don't like it to look too shiny throughout the day and then it kind of makes my kind of slight to set my under eyes but not do a whole baking method and what I'll use is the BH Cosmetics 140 brush. It's just this tapered sort of fluffy brush. I'll just swirl it into the powder and then I'll just apply it under my eyes and then also in the middle of my forehead because that does tend to get a little bit oily as well. But I really do love this product. She did a great job on this. It doesn't have a white cast or anything and this is awesome. Once I run out, I'm gonna be purchasing this again too. The next three products are also from Fenty Beauty and this is the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks Trio kind of hard to say but I got the colors Trippin, Mocha, and Bamboo. Bamboo is sort of like this concealer color. It's not exactly my exact concealer color. It's a little bit lighter so I kind of use this just to highlight underneath my eyes a little bit just in case I have a little bit more darkness after I add my actual concealer and I'll put it around my mouth because my mouth tends to get really dark also just to brighten that area up. Um, some of these products you will be seeing soon in a video so stay tuned for that but this is really awesome. I like this to highlight around my mouth, underneath my eyes, and also underneath my brows after I do them. The next color is Mocha, and this is just a nice chocolate matte brown. Not really warm at all, which is what I really, really love. It's very cool toned brown. I use this to contour my nose and my cheeks. I kind of did it lighter today, but usually I'll go a little bit more heavier on the cheeks because I do have big cheeks, so I kind of want to make them a little bit more chiseled. And my nose, I just add a little bit and it really is like a soft contour. It's not too overbearing, which is what I really, really like because 
I used to use some contours and they didn't really look right because they might have been too warm and I don't think warm contours or bronzers look nice on my skin. So I'm really happy with this color. If you're just like me and you like cool tone browns for contouring, then definitely check out this. And the last one I got in the trio is the Trippin Matchstick. And I use this as an everyday highlighter base. So this is like a nice corally pink color and it has a little bit of like gold reflex in it. I'll use this just on the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and the high points of my cheeks as a base. And then I'll go over with any highlighter that I use. It just kind of gives that nice like pink peachy tone to your face, which is what I really, really like. I kind of like that color a lot. Can't really tell on the camera, but in my next video that will be coming up soon, you'll definitely see a better look of it. So this next item I got probably a couple months ago and when I first got it, I didn't exactly like it. Um, I kind of brought it in order to use as a color corrector, basically for my under eyes because you know how orange and peach is, you really can't sell blue dark under eye circles. So that's why I got this for and it actually didn't look like it was correcting anything. This is like a normal concealer. But this month I've been using it like crazy. At first I was using it underneath my brows to kind of like clean up my brows after I fill them in. But then after a while, I decided to just add it all over my face. And right now, I'm not wearing any foundation except for this. I'm just using this as spot concealing. Not only because my skin has been acting up way better than it has been, but this is just like, I guess it does kind of help correct like the dark spots in my skin. But this is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. This is in the color 03 Medium. And it's like this nice light peachy tone color. I really, really like it. It's really creamy, really soft. If you set it, it looks fine. It doesn't look greasy at all. And I've been using this like crazy every single day. So I'm definitely gonna have to stack up again on it. But it's really inexpensive. I know NYX is a little bit tricky when it comes to their prices. But for this, I believe this is about like $8, which I don't mind because I've had it for a few months now. And I've been using this every single day and it still hasn't budged a bit. But I feel like soon I'm gonna have to get it within like the next two months. The next item is actually a product that I received in my advent calendar for Vlogmas. If you guys haven't seen any of my Vlogmas videos, I'll link it up there for you guys so you can check them out. This came in an NYX um, advent calendar that I got. Um, I actually bought it myself for Christmas and I just want to buy it for the Vlogmas to do. But I've actually been liking this color to fill in my eyebrows lately. And this is the NYX eyeshadow in the shade Milan. And it's just this nice dark deep brown. It's not too dark, but it's like a cool tone chocolatey brown. And I've been just using it to fill in my eyebrows. And I used to never fill in my eyebrows with any powder eyeshadows or any powder brow products. Um, I would usually just use like the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I didn't end up liking that because it's too thick and too dark and I don't really like dark drawn on eyebrows. Um, I would try pencils, but I feel like I wasn't getting the hang of making hair like strokes with any pencils that I would buy. And I decided to try this out with a little brush that I had, just like this small concealer brush, which is like kind of flat. I'm not sure what it is. If I can find it, I'll put it, the name of it right here. I'm, it's definitely a beige cosmetics brush, but I've been using that to fill this in and I really like it. It looks really, really natural, I feel. and. I don't know, I feel like the shade is just perfect because my hair does have a little bit of like red tones in it, but it's also darker at the top, which is my natural hair color. And I feel like this works in between for both of those to make your eyebrows just look really, really natural. So if you have similar color eyebrows to me or anything, definitely try out this eyeshadow from NYX. I'm not sure how much they are separately, but I did get this in an advent calendar. If I can find out the price, I'll link the link down below. The next two items are lip products. And these are from the brand Milani. I know a lot of people like Milani. Um, I got these about a year ago. Not these exact ones, but this, these exact shades I had for about a year ago. And I would use one of them like all the time, but then I realized now it looks kind of dark on me and I don't really like it that much. It's not too dark, but it's just the shade of it, it looks kind of weird. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. The first shade is in the color 69 Matte Beauty. And it's just this really nice, true, deep nude color. It's a little bit too deep for me when I put it on just as a nude, so that's why I kind of layer it with the other one. But it's really creamy, not too drying matte, because I feel like a lot of like regular lipsticks like this, when they say that they're matte, I don't think they're like a liquid lipstick matte, where it's like you can rub your lips together. But 
this is really nice, super creamy, but not too like high sheen or anything as you could tell. And what I'll layer on top of that is in the color 60 Matte Innocence. And this is actually breaking on me and it kind of looks gross <laughs> in the packaging. This, the whole entire lipstick is actually breaking apart so I need to buy a new one. But it's just this nice light color. It kind of reminds me of a MAC lipstick. It reminds me of one of the MAC lipsticks. I'm not exactly sure the name of it but it looks really familiar to it. If I can find it, I'll also put that on the screen. But this is also a great layering lipstick if you kind of want to brighten up some lipsticks like that one that I just showed you if you feel like it's too dark. And this is a perfect color for that. And the last beauty related item is this perfume from Juliet Has a Gun. And this is the perfume in, not a perfume, that's the name of it. I'm going to put the notes right here, but this is kind of like a mixture between a masculine and feminine scent. I feel like it's more on the feminine side, but a little bit of that warmth and masculinity in there. Um, I do prefer more masculine scents than like sweet and floral, but this is one that's kind of different that I wouldn't really choose for, but I really, really like it. And of course, this is a sample and a set that I got, and I'm thinking about purchasing the full size. I'm not sure yet, but once this runs out, I'll see if I'll go for the full size or if I'll move on to a different one. So that is all for the beauty products. Now I'm going to go into sort of like the fashion-y stuff. I don't actually have any, wait, is fashion -y even a word? I don't know. But I don't really have like any clothing items, but sort of like accessories. So the first item is a pair of sneakers, and these are the Adidas Gazelle. I have two other pairs of these, which you guys might have seen in any of my videos, I'm not sure. I have one in red and one in green, and I've really been wanting the black ones for a while. You've guys seen these also in my Vlogmas because I did get them for Christmas. I know I'm touching the bottom of them, they're really dirty, I will wash my hands after this, don't worry. But I don't know, I've just been wearing the black and white ones for so long, they match so many things, and I've been wearing them almost every single day for the month of January, and they're super comfortable easy to walk in don't hurt my feet because a lot of sneakers tend to really like scratch my feet and stuff and i have really wide feet so it's not good but these are a great pair of sneakers and i really recommend them they come in so many different colors and i just truly want to get all of them the next item is something that you guys might have seen in my january haul video which i posted about two videos back I'll also link that one up here for you guys. And this is the Adidas Camel Fanny Pack that I showed you guys. Since that video, I've been using this bag almost every single day. And I'm surprised because I would even carry this with me if I'm just spending like the night at like my cousin's house or my sister's house. And I can just put a shirt and underwear. I'll wear the same pair of jeans, even a pair of socks I'll put in here. And all my makeup that I need and this fits it all, which is crazy. Of course I can't put like a thick sweater, but if I just need like a t-shirt or anything, that can easily fit in here. And this fits so much stuff, I didn't realize that. This front pocket with this zipper is really convenient. I'll put like my Metro card and all like my cards in here. I won't even carry like a wallet. I don't know if that's good or not, but I just really been loving this bag so much. And the strap is amazing. It's actually a great length. I know I said it was kind of short in that video, but I actually ended up liking the length a lot. I don't know if it's still in stock, but if it is, I will link it down below. The next two items I've been loving are actually items that I'm wearing right now. First are these earrings that I got from, I believe they were H&M. They're just these long chandelier looking earrings with this like long bar and a ball at the bottom. And I feel like this can be worn so casually, yet you can dress it up or dress it down. Either way, they just look so nice, kind of puts your whole outfit together. As you guys know, I do love gold jewelry a lot. I'm not really a fan of silver jewelry, so that's also why I love these a lot. But they're just so simple, yet elegant, and really inexpensive. Hopefully they won't tarnish on me because I do have a problem with fake jewelry, but I really love them a lot. I don't know if they're still in stock because I did get them about a few months ago. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to buy some more stuff from H&M or some more jewelry. Even though H&M is having a little problem right now. I don't support it, but you know, I just really like their jewelry. I just really do. I'm sorry. 
The next item is also an item that I'm wearing, and you guys also seen this in my January haul video. And this is just this cross necklace from It's Irish Jewelry. I will leave her information down below, but it's just a beautiful gold cross. It just looks so dainty with my nameplate. I love wearing it every day. The only thing is I wish I did get the longest chain because I don't really like how it's short right here because I do have that other necklace that I've shown you guys in the January haul and I feel like they're both the exact same length so they kind of like layer on top of each other which I don't really like. So I do want to get the longest chain that I can for this one so it can hang lower into my nameplate because I just feel like that'll look a lot nicer. Especially for the shape of this cross, I just feel like it would look nice with a dress or even with a sweater like I'm wearing right now. And the last sort of fashion favorite item are these glasses that I actually got for my job about two or three years ago. And yes, I do have prescription glasses. I do have astigmatism in my left eye, but I don't wear glasses as often as I probably should because um, the doctor at my job actually told me I should wear my glasses every time I'm using a computer or on my phone or anything. And I'm always on the computer no matter what and I don't wear them but this one I've actually been wearing these and I really like them a lot I think they're from the brand Oliver's People I'm not sure because the name kind of like came off but they're just like these caramel sort of like clear colored glasses I love how the frames aren't super squared yet super circle looking but they're really really nice and they're really sturdy and I'm so happy I found these at my job I do work in an ophthalmology if you guys didn't know but these are really awesome I don't know if they do make them anymore because I did get these three years ago so if I could find any similar pairs I'll link them down below but I'm sure a lot of places will have glasses that look like these the next item is actually a home item and this is a candle that I also got quite a while ago that I just started burning and this is a candle from Primark and this was only 90 cents yes 0.90 dollars um this is a candle from Primark that is in the scent eucalyptus and oh my goodness this smells delicious I have two of them and it just smells so fresh and keeps your room like you just like cleaned it like every single day I don't know like it just smells so good but I've been burning these non-stop for about like a week now and I'm kind of sad because it is almost getting to the bottom and I would burn them at the same time since they are smaller candles but hopefully if I go back there anytime soon they still have these scents there because I do want to pick up about like five more because they're so inexpensive yet they're super strong and they smell great and hopefully there's other scents that I can try out also because these are really awesome. The next item is also another sort of homeware item but it is an electronic and this is an item that I actually received for Christmas as well and this is the Yui Boom 2. I've been using this like crazy. I play my music every single day with this. It's waterproof so I can bring it in the shower. I'm not exactly sure how much it was. If I do find out I'll link it down below. Um, I have the all black one it is super loud like my room my mom is on the other side of my room and she can hear this when I put it all the way up like it's a freaking party in my room but this is really awesome I love this so much it's a great speaker you can bring it on the go it lasts really long the battery life and I can go like three days without charging it this is really awesome and it's my little baby of my room <laughs> And the last item is a random item that I've been loving for the month of January, even though it's been snowing quite a lot in New York recently. But I've been using this nonstop, practicing, because I'm not anywhere good, but I've just been enjoying practicing with it. And this is my penny board. <laughs> I actually received this for a Secret Santa gift from my cousin about five, or maybe like four years ago. I'm not sure, but this is just a penny board. Don't know where it's from, but it's just this black one with like these purple pinkish wheels. And I'm gonna put it down because it is a bit heavy, but I've been using that just practicing like in my backyard a lot and I just really been enjoying it. I do either want a bigger penny board because that one is sort of like a mini one or a natural skateboard, even though I don't really wanna do tricks. I just wanna like ride it and like cruise on it. But yeah, I've been just really enjoying doing that besides making videos, but just another little activity that I want to try to get better at. So two random things that I'm just going to share with you guys, which I'm actually just going to talk about. One of them is a food item, and that is Lay's potato chips. 
the regular potato chip. I've been loving that like crazy. I promise you, the last time I ate them, it was a family size bag and I ate it all by myself. Yeah, I did that, which is pretty bad, but I don't know. I just been craving them like because my sister had them at her house um, during Christmas and I haven't had them in so long. And when I was there, I just couldn't stop eating them. So I decided to get my own big bag and I've been eating them like crazy. And now I'm on my second bag, which is horrible, but right now it's not really doing anything to my skin or whatever, but internally it might be getting there. And the last random thing I'm going to talk about is a TV show, which I've actually watched before and I'm on my second time watching it again. And that is Freaks and Geeks on Netflix. If you guys haven't seen that show before, you should definitely check it out if you have Netflix. It is a show, I believe, from like 1999 or something. It features James Franco, Seth Rogen. I think that's the first show that they met on. And I forgot the other guy's name, if I remember it, I'm not sure. But he's in How I Met Your Mother, if you know who I'm talking about. Tall guy with the blondish hair. Um, that show is just so awesome. It's about like high schoolers and this girl named Lindsay and her brother Sam. And she's like in a senior or something and he's like a freshman. And he's more on the geeky side and she's trying to become friends with the rebels and stuff. It's just really awesome and funny and hilarious and I really enjoyed a lot but you guys should definitely check out that show because it is great. So that is all for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want any of these items, if they are still available, I will link them all down below. Also be sure to like this video if you did like it and if you have any comments or any questions or any video requests that you would like me to do, be sure to comment down below. Also, if you don't want to miss any videos from me, be sure to hit that bell button to make sure you get notified when I do post a new video. And also that subscribe button it would help so much. Also, all my social media links will be linked down below as my Instagram, my Twitter, etc. The whole shebang will be down there below. But thank you guys once again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!